Hey everyone, my name's Adam Archer, and today I thought I would make a fun video showing all of my blue automatic knives. Uh, blue is my favorite color on a knife, and my favorite type of knives are automatics or switchblades. So let's take a look at the ones I have here on my table. First, we have the Guardian Tactical or Ratworks MRX. This is a chain driven auto, which is a very unique design. So when we close this, you can see that there's a chain that runs around the spine that actually connects to the spring that's in the handle. Press the button and that chain pulls the blade open. So blue handle, two-tone blade, probably my favorite combination on a knife is when it has a two-tone blade with a blue handle. Next we have the Dalton Warncliffe very nice blue handle on there and of course a worn cliff blade thus its name very snappy and rather comfortable in the hand we have a dalton mini millennium purchased this used on the secondary market which all my daltons i've really purchased off the secondary market but this one, they tried to put a new finish on the blade. This is a single action automatic. So basically you manually um, retract the blade, but to deploy it, you just push that button and it deploys very quickly. And they are able to get a larger spring when it is a single action automatic as they don't have to put two springs, one to uh, fire, one to retract. It's just one large spring to fire. Next, we have a Dalton CS Militia. Super snappy California legal auto. That means a sub two inch blade. And that one has some recoil on it. Very cool. We have this cheap Chinese um, blue handled dual action automatic. Nothing too special about that. I think it was made in the 80s. So it fits well with like my NATO military and that style of automatic. Just had to pick that up. I think it was like five bucks. I got it at a flea market. We have a Blade Show exclusive Guardian Tactical. Uh, this is the Recon 35 from 2019 Blade Show. And I don't believe Guardian Tactical has been to Blade Show since 2019. Um, really wish they would go and do more blade show specials. This is a ultra smooth um, out the front. Um, a lot of out the front automatics, if you let them sit in a display case for a long time, start getting really stiff. Never had that problem with this. Just always super smooth. We have a Heretic Knives. This is the Mantic or yeah Manticore S. This is the Blade Show 2021 exclusive with the blue and black G10 button. And uh, I believe this is the Bowie style blade. And they didn't actually um, have Blade Show in 2021, so they had sold these on their Instagram page. We have another Blade Show exclusive Heretic Knife. This is from 2020. Maybe it was 2020 that they didn't have Blade Show and 2021 they did. I I think I think that was it. I, I don't remember. Uh, but this has a blue and black G10 button as well. This one I really need to oil up because it is stiff. It actually takes two hands. Wow. Can't even retract it with two hands right now. But it is um, very stiff um, and needs to be oiled. So, won't be firing that one right now. We have the Dalton Jackal with a uh, blue paint splatter finish. And this is a dual action automatic, so it can be opened either using thumb stud like that or with the back to fire. What's special about this is it uses a coil spring rather than a leaf spring, 
um, to deploy the blade, even though it is a dual action automatic. We have another dual action automatic. This is the Matt Diskin Revolution or Wheel Knife. And it has a uh, blue screws and blue wheel. So how this can be deployed, it can either be deployed by using the thumb, uh, like teardrop, or by spinning that wheel and shoots that blade out. And that uses a leaf spring. Lots of special things about this knife, whether it's the carbon fiber back uh, spacer on the pocket clip or um, the liner lock that actually goes underneath. So this is not liner lock right here, but it's on like the center of the handle, it goes underneath and then connects in. So just a very unique knife right there. Is hand ground custom, or is a hand ground custom. Next we have a Boker top lock. Top lock. Starting to get a tongue twister. I believe these are normally um, sent uh, as a manual knife and then people put a spring inside of them. A Boker Kalashnikov TNP. Uh, this is the Blade HQ exclusive. Two tone blade, love it. Um, and it'll have like a baby blue handle. It also has a uh, pot clip that's a little bit unique or is unique for this particular variation. I believe they may have also put a larger spring in this one. Boker Kalashnikov Dessert Warrior, supposed to look like a donut. Has blue blade and some blue sprinkles, as well as a blue pocket clip. Kind of a funny knife, had to add one to my collection. They have a few different uh, variations, and uh, Blade HQ actually released a Ultra Tech with that same coloration. My newest blue automatic, this is the Benchmade Spike, with just one of the most beautiful uh, brush blue finishes. As you can see there, just stunning. Very fast knife. This is a older one, so this is back when they had the Balasong logo on the blade. We have kind of a flea market special stiletto. Probably from the 80s, early 90s. But has a blue plastic handle on there. And lastly, we have the Lightning OTF with blue handle and two-tone blade. Very inexpensive knives. You can get these for about 30 bucks. And of course, I had to get this variation because it is my favorite color, um, the blue with the two-tone blade. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed um, and have a great day. Thanks.